the no it clap your hands hello and welcome to our latest video oh it's the latest okay today we have rode video mic go 2 microphone for a camera but first of all let's see how heavy is the package and what do you think it is I would say about 300 grams, something like that. Let me see. Hmm, more or less, more or less. I think 250. 250, okay. 250, let's go. Run. Damn, boy. Yes, I am closer. I'm catching you up. No, you're because not. you're winning. You're not with closer. A point. You're, not you're close. winning with a point. You're not close. It's 300 grams. And we are back. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. I bet it's a microphone. How did you know? I don't know. Because I just guess. Maybe it's because it's written road microphones. Maybe. Maybe. This is a cheap microphone. Cheap? Is it cheap? What do you consider a cheap microphone? 100 euros. This is a cheap microphone. So inside we have. We have. You, you don't know what it is, yes? I uh, Shock mount. Yes. We have a microphone. Amazing. And we have a wind foam. Wind shield. Or shield. Yes. And we have a cable for the camera. Some manuals. You wanna read? You wanna read? And that's it. So now let's talk about the specs. So this microphone is electric condenser microphone. Polar pattern is super cardioid. Frequency response is from 20 Hz to 20 kilohertz and equivalent noise level is 50 dBA. Yeah, so sensitivity is 28.75 millivolts. If you know what that means, it's great. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> so you can record and control this mic via USB-C right here. And or also... use it with a TRS directly to the camera and it doesn't need any additional batteries and no batteries at all. Just the camera battery. That's it. Yes. It's... Now let's set it up and see how it looks like on a camera and let's test it. Hello. Hello! And now we are with a microphone, yes? Yes, now we are, you're hearing us from the microphone mounted on the camera. So this is one of the scenarios you would use it for. Vlogging, maybe? Yes. Maybe yes. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yes, now we will try to unplug the microphone during the recording so you would hear the difference in the same video clip. Should I do it? Yes. Maybe you need to stop. No, no, no. no. And welcome to the second clip. Now you're hearing us from the microphone inside the camera itself. So, how do you think the difference is? Is it good? Is it bad? I think it's a lot of difference. We'll see in the because post. Maybe not. No. Maybe, maybe yes. Now let's uh, listen how this uh, external microphone sound uh, outside. So now you can hear how it sounds outside and behind the camera. So I was asked to try to play the guitar. I don't know how, but I will do my best. And let's see how it sounds. Mm -hmm.
So, how do you think it sounds? Is it good? Is it bad? You tell us in the comments. So, at the price point about 100 euros, what do you think? Is it good? Is it worth to buy or not? Well, currently in the market there are a lot of options for cheap video microphones. Uh, Rude has been in the business for quite a long time. So I think this product, it, it's really good. It's the second edition of the video mic. I think they know what they're doing. So I would say it's maybe one of the best options. Maybe the best option. I really agree. I used this microphone. I really liked it. It's for the price point, it's like really good. And it's also versatile because you can connect it to your phone and uh, use it uh, like a, a phone microphone. And also you can connect via USB to your computer and uh, do the Zoom calls or even gaming uh, and whatever you want. So it's, it's really good. Yeah, so jack of all trades of the microphones. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to press like, subscribe, share, comment and other stuff. That's it, I think. Yep. <laughs> Probably. And we will see you in the next one. Yes. Goodbye.